Okay, Wadi, honestly, you have a small penis, you're ugly, and you're stupid. That's why nobody wants to marry you. Hi, welcome to Game Rangers Paper Mario. I'm Perry. <laughs> I'm Wadi. Yeah, you bet you are, you piece of shit. <laughs> And we're playing Paper Mario! You better fucking like this game. Start it up! Come on. Quit being a bitch. Fine. Hey, Wadi. Chicken. Chicken? Chicken. 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 Start. Start a new game. You gotta erase one of the files. Get rid of Murphy. Can you get rid of Murphy? Get rid of Murphy. But about that time, I realized I'm Murphy. So, we figured that you guys liked Paper Mario, so we decided to do Paper Mario. With a Wii emulator? And yeah. It didn't work out. And we decided to do Paper Mario. Fucking on Team Fedora. And then we scrapped that. So we're doing it again. <laughs> you better fucking like Paper Mario. Because that's all you're fucking getting. Too good to be. Yeah, fine, whatever. Just come on. Why? We're doing 10 minute segments. We want to get past the title screen. We do? Yeah. Uh. Fucking... Uh. 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 G. 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 <laughs> File G four G. Start game with file four. No. Okay. We never got it. Start the game for fuck's sake, Wadi. I'm starting the game. Yeah, you bet you are. Here, here. I did the first two. You can do this one. Okay, fine. So here's all Paracoupa and he's putting mail in the box. He's taking off mail call. And Luigi's all like, "Why am I in a house that clearly has Mario <laughs> written on it?" I don't know. It was a wild night. <laughs> Wild night of eating mushroom stew. Hey, Mario, I got a letter from the princess, as usual. I was like, I told you, you never I'll read it to you, okay? Mail. Because you're illiterate. It says, Mario, I hate you. I never want to see you again. You can go jump off a cliff and die. I aborted our first child yesterday, and now I'm throwing a party. <laughs> and Mario's like, I'm gonna go to that party. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. Luigi, you stay here. No, fuck that, I'm coming with. I'll go with and follow you everywhere you go. Superstar Saga, I'll be behind you. We can do all these awesome bro things. Yeah, it's going to be so great. I can't wait to go on our first adventure together, Luigi, at the same time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, about that, Luigi. Uh, the budget got cut. Um, our options were to get rid of one of the extra helpers, like Goombario. Or you, uh... No, no, you didn't do this to me, Lu no, did you? Luigi, come on, no. don't, don't, no, you didn't Luigi, do this. don't be that way, come no. on. No, no, we were on. supposed dude. to do this together. Dude, come on. together, dude. Mario Brothers, dude. Brothers. Dude, I, if no. I, dude, I, I'm sorry. No. There, just, there, wa there wasn't enough in the budget, okay? It was you or Goombario, and Goombario's way more useful, okay? How is Goombario more useful? He, he fucking has a book. He doesn't have a book. He does, he fucking, like... Knows things. No, he doesn't have a book. He knows things and shit. No, no, he doesn't. You know what, Luigi? Fuck, I'm getting Sonic security. Uh, uh, fuck you too, Mario. Yeah, five minutes. Get out of here, Luigi. No, I'm standing right here. Yeah, I bet you will. I bet it's not going to be like the first time shit goes down you take off pissing yourself. You don't know that. This guy's all like, hey, this peach is dressing room. Can't go in here. No, and he's like, it. yeah, okay, go. whatever. We're just zooming through this because we've done this. Let's play like three times. This is the third time. What a big fireplace. What a cozy fire. Also, Mario catches on fire because he's fucking paper. <laughs> What's even the point of going in here? Um. Well, they want they wanted you to have a preview of this room, you know, before you spent those segments as Peach being in the room. Hmm. Mario spinning all over the place. Swish, swish, <laughs> swishy, swish. Swishy, swishy, swishy. Hey, Wadi, you know what you should do? Hmm? You should get the strategy guide from the other room. The strategy guide? Yeah. <laughs> this game's so hardcore, we might need it. Actually, to find some of the hidden stuff we might, but... Because that way we don't accidentally overlook something useful. Oh, boy. The moment of destiny is finally here. Well, I know what the, the toad house is what I'm going to call it. Mm-hmm. There'll be a different toad in it one of these times, and if you rest there, mm -hmm. there'll be an altruist room. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. That happened to me one time when I was playing through this. Interesting. Oh, by the way, for people who don't know, I got this game when it first came out. Dude, like, um... And I didn't beat it until, like, a few months ago. I got it used. 
like at Blockbuster, like when you not when they were going out of business, but like when they were getting done with the N sixty four games, mm -hmm. and that's when I first played through it. So it probably was like fucking eight, nine years ago. Because I played through Thousand Year Door like seven years ago, so at least almost eight or nine years ago. Yeah, I almost played. We'll get into a story about that, but at some point we're gonna do a, uh, a Game Rangers run of it. We're just gonna call it that. We'll call it the Gunderman run. The Gunderman run. The Gunderman run. No saving. Or we're we gonna actually sit through that entire thing without. <laughs> yes, we'll sit. We'll call it the Gunderman run of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. You don't save. You don't. Uh, you don't save. And you can't load up no matter what. You can't use save states or save files. Shit. So if you get a scratch, you better make sure that disc is not fucking scratched before you start it. Oh, that happened, huh? Yeah. Okay, so the story behind it is there was a point where for three weeks, all I could do every day, I like could not leave my room. I was bed bound. So it was like, all I could do was play Thousand Year Door. But I didn't have a memory card. <laughs> so I had to play through the whole game without saving. So the first time, I get up to Hooktail. And I do one of the dialogue options to take, like, the special rare badge from him. And he fucking kills me, because it's an insta-kill maneuver. She. Okay, so there's that. And then the uh, second time, I, I think I legitimately don't... No, the second time was a discrete error in the pit of a th hundred trials. I got, like, I was on, like, trial 30, and it's like, this can't be red. And I'm like, oh, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, the third time, uh, I read the diary... Uh, it, it, when you're on the train, if you read the diary... Okay, I guess that's a spoiler, but if you read the diary, the ghost comes up and he's like, Fucking, I told you not to! And he kills you. And then gets the game over. And, like, the fourth time was, uh, because I got hit by a piranha plant for one extra damage. And I was in the ice area, so it was, like, one of the ice piranha plants. So I was almost done with the game. I think it might have even cleared far the ice outpost. area. Yeah, far outpost. But it was like, I think I might have even beaten that area, but I was like on my way out of it or something. The thing is, no, when you beat that area, you, you're on the moon. And from the moon, you can't get back until you get the tele until you go to the teleportation room. Okay, I can't remember if I've done that or not. But the point is, I got really far into the game. And had, a, you know, I died. And just at that point, I was going to be leaving my bedriddenness. So there was no time to really start the whole damn thing over again. And you really want to try... Sitting here and, try and getting through it without saving? I guess so, yeah. We'll just pick a weekend at some point and just do an endless live stream of it, I'm thinking. Live stream? A recorded live stream. So yeah. that way, for people who couldn't watch the live stream, right. we'll, we'll upload Right. Obviously, it. we'd upload the parts later, but yeah, it would just be like, we pick a day and we start at like 5 in the afternoon on Friday and go until 5 in the afternoon on Sunday. We'll get 13 pizzas. Yes. <laughs> we'll get 13 pizzas and we'll have a pizza counter in the corner. No, no, it'll be a slice counter. Who eats the most slices? Yeah, there's gonna be Wise counter and my counter, and maybe like Nick will be here and we'll just be like, "You guys gotta step in pizza." I'm like, "Fuck you, no!" This is like piles of empty pizza boxes. We'll take a picture when we're done. This is gonna be pizza boxes up to the ceiling. Well, we decided to Fucking get more. Little Caesars. <laughs> Damn you, Little Caesars! Uh, I don't know if you've been to uh, uh, CC's Pizza. Yeah. They, they've got a pizza challenge: eat three pizzas in half an hour. Really? Mm -hmm. And you get like, you, you get like this thingy. Have you done it? Nope. I haven't okay. tried the challenge yet. Hmm. I want to do it. Just haven't gotten around if to it. If not very thick game. pizzas, it's relatively easy. Oh, they're, they're pizza pizzas. Mm -hmm. you, know, you gotta eat them. You get to choose whatever pizza you want for the mm. three pizzas. Thin crust, cheese. <laughs> no, no, just thin crust. No, no sauce, no cheese. Just, just, the, just the bread. Just the bread with cheese. No, <laughs> just, the, just the bread with sauce. Just, <laughs> they bring out a bucking marinara sauce. You just dip the dough in there. And five minutes later, this was a terrible idea. You see, as you're licking up glasses and pasta sauce, and all the dough is gone. Right. Oh, you gotta eat. You got. Oh, I'm done. No, you gotta finish off that sauce. Yeah, you eat the sauce. Okay. No, no, you still have to eat the rest of the topping. They just bring out a bucket of cheese. Oh. <laughs> and a box of pepperonis. Okay, I wouldn't complain about the pepperonis. No, they just bring out one of those. Uh, one of the uncut ones. Oh. Uh, like, <laughs> no, you know what I would guy. do? I just like take it down my throat all at once. <laughs> you win, but you choke to death. Constellation prize. You get to be in the stars. <laughs> fucking know what I said. Anyone who's wondering what's going on here, it's not fucking interesting. Here only goes someone Bowser fucking kidnap Peach again. Yes. And, and now the stars are all like, hey, we kind of fucked up. A Bowser got the star rod. And we need you to do it because you're the only one who can... Of course, we could have asked, you know, Luigi to do it, because he's not doing anything. 
But no, we're gonna ask you because you're injured and you fell out of a fucking floating castle. And now the stars have, like, T-Mobile, so they can only get very poor reception to talk to Mario, so he's gotta go to the summit to get a signal. He's gotta go to the top of the mountain to get a signal from Star Spirit. I went to the top of the mountain for miles around. I could see nothing but the shadows of men. Um... Uh... Oh, no, it's the destruction of men. Man, whatever. Uh, but yeah, we're almost done with the first part already. It's, like, been ten minutes. Really? And we have not gone to the actual game. Yeah, at least it's not a bunch of cutscene, 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 talkie, talkie, talkie. It basically is. We had a few parts where we could walk around, but then the rest was just chit chat chit chat chit chat chit chat chit chat chit And as interesting as you'd think this stuff is, it really fucking isn't. Oh, Mario. There, there's, like, a You're dozen here. fucking Let's Plays that have gone up to this point in the game. So we're just gonna zoom... Like, once we get past the gate area here we'll start actually paying attention to dialogue but in the meantime it's like it fucking took us forever to get this far yeah they're, they're pretty much explaining you how to play the game you do this you do that follow a building you fall off a, a thing you, you, you find an old guy he wants you to hammer him or something nail like him. that he wants you to nail him Na nail him no. he, he wants you to nail him yeah let's go talk to the old fuckhead and old grandma. Grandma's a hoe. Just, throw, just let you know. She wants Mario's dick. She, she, she wants a good dicking. Tiger dicking. Tiger, she wants a good tiger dicking. <laughs> <laughs> and then Snowflake comes and hey. Hey, are you looking for me? Isn't no. Snowflake a female tiger? Yep. Female tigers have dick. They're just that. <laughs> female tigers have dicks. They're just that badass. Like, hey, I'm going to rape you. No. Yep. No. Yep. Wait, no, you're a tiger. Oh, no, 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 no! You wake up from the dream. Oh, oh, it was the worst dream ever. Female tiger. Female tiger. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, you just see Tiger Paul go of you. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, God. So basically, Kamek's like, I know how to stop him. Fucking put a brick on the gate. No way, can, no way they can walk around it, or push it, or jump over it. <laughs> or jump over it. Or jump over it, or fucking jump over it. But you know, because you're not you're not Mario. Yeah, it's not like your your original name was fucking Jump Man. Yeah, you, you couldn't jump, man. It's kind of bothers me that Kumbaria has those fucking huge eyebrows. <laughs> Durr. That's just creepy. Just a little. Ow. Just a little bit. Are you pulling your own hair? No. The fuck, Wadi? I'm not pulling my hair. I'm messing with my hair. That's a difference. Yeah, I'm gonna search this bush. Mars taking a shit back here. He's he's waiting for somebody to come by with the answer. <laughs> Why is this bush? I need to figure out a way to get past that gate. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait here till somebody figures out how and jump on them. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. I guess that's it for part one. We'll be back for part two.